Hi, I'm Ethan Kwan, and welcome to part three of how to make a great password in, well, how to make a great password generator in Scratch. Last time we left off with this great password generator, and you probably thought this, this was the last video, but uh, that was the last video, but no. Uh, I have uh, another password generator uh, there that might be better to memorize, or it might not be. Uh, who knows? So, and it's a little bit worse, but not, not that bad. Uh, and I actually generated my password, my computer password, from this application. So uh, it, and it's and it's pretty long. So um, yeah, whatever. Anyway, so we have this we have this password generator right now. And what I'm gonna do is, so what I'm gonna do is in this this time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a few lists that have a few different things. In there. Oh, by the way, if you want me to, if you want to see me write down a bunch of other words for that list, uh, for that word list, uh, let me know, and I will. Well, I I, I don't want to do it, but uh, <laughs> uh, if then then I'll do it. If you want to see me do that, just leave it down in the comments below, and I'll just add a bunch more words to that list of words right here. Uh, this one, this one, yeah. Um, I have 115 right now, so that, I think that's pretty good, but who knows. Anyway, uh, let's get started right into the video. So how this password is going to work is you're going to have an adjective, and then um, and then a noun. Is that is that how it goes? Adjective, noun, adjective, noun, um, yeah, so adjective, noun, and then a number, and then a character. So this is this is much better. Uh, this is this is a really good pa pa uh, a pretty good password generator. Not really good, but pretty good. So what I'm gonna do? I'm, I'm just gonna go on to Scratch, create a new project, create a new project. All right, and this project let's call it um, password generator v. 3.0. Now, 2.0 and 3.0, uh, they might be better or worse than each other. Who knows? But this one has a lot more variety in how strong it is. So, um, yeah, just make sure to watch out for that. But how does uh, I already explained how this is going to work? Adjective, noun, um, number, and then a symbol. So let's go ahead and create four new lists. Yeah, I know, uh, four new lists. The first one's going to be called adjective. Adjective. Next one, you guessed it. Now, uh, next one, no, well, not number. We don't actually need this, but ne next one, would be character, character, Psst, s characters, right? So let's let's go ahead and fill out each of these lists. So adjective first. So adjective is some kind of action. So let's just go ahead and do it with running, running. So we're gonna have something doing something, right? So we're going to have to do ing for all of them. So running, jumping, uh, oh, no, that's not. <laughs> running, jumping, uh, and you can just fill out a bunch of adjectives uh, to your heart's content. Um, yeah, okay, that's good enough. 19 adjectives is probably good enough. Uh, you can add more if you want. I'm just gonna leave it at 19. And now let's do nouns. Nouns are uh, things, so this would be easier. Like um, people, um, food, or some kind of food. Pears, bushes. Okay, so I think that's enough nouns. 22 nouns. You can add more if you want. I'm just gonna keep it at that. And now characters. Characters are not like like. I don't know, like characters. Uh, let's actually just keep it at the period, no comma, because those that the comma and the period look too similar. All right, I think that's good enough. We have adjectives, characters, and nouns. Nice. So let me just shrink this because I don't need that much space. All right, characters, nouns. Okay, you can add as many of uh, stuff as you like. I'm, I just like it like this. So now we're going to just pick a random random one out of each of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say, let's create a new variable. Let's call it um, password. All right, so I'm going to make it actually fancier, and I'm going to make this password generator 
fancy. So I'm going to make it repeat, let's say, a hundred times. No, that's not too many. 30 times. So that should last about a second. So password, we're going to set password to... Um, we're going to set password to... Actually, first, we're, let's set password to delete everything. So blank. And then we're going to go ahead and set password to... We're going to have to join join a few things. So we're going to have to join four things, actually. Join four things. So we need three joins. And this... Um, so first of all, we're going to have the join uh, item pick random one to length of length of adjective of adjective. That sounds good enough. Okay. So this is going to pick a random adjective, right? Sleepy, jumping, standing, falling, powerful, blowing, falling, blowing, jumping, jog, jog, jogging. I spelled that wrong. Jogging. Where's jogging? Jogging. <laughs> jogging. Okay. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, anyway. Let's, so we're going to stick that in the first join. Now let's duplicate that. Now this might get a little bit long, but don't worry. And then we're just going to change this to the list item character, no, not characters, noun of noun. So item pick random one to length of noun of noun. Uh, and then let's go ahead and great, uh, grab a pick random one to 10. One to 10 is fine, unless you want more variety, then you could do one to 100. Uh, I'm just going to do one to 10 because and then I'm just going to duplicate this item again, and then we're just going to do character, right? Uh, so pick um, item pick random one to length of characters of characters, right? Okay, there we go. So now we can actually set password to this thing. Okay, so now it's stinky homework four, and then the bracket. Hum hungry reptile is ten. Full bush is four. Okay, so what we, what we can do is actually we can just stick that in there. Uh, and actually, let's go ahead and grab a set color effect to zero so that it's a little bit... Yeah, okay, that's better, yeah. So actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to grab a wait zero seconds in here so that it actually like looks like it's cycling through all the passwords that are available. After that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say... Uh, I'm going to, uh, let's see, how should I do this? Uh, hmm. I'm going to have to create a new variable. And this variable is going to be adjective, right? This variable is going to be adjective. And the adjective, let's just set right here. Adjective to item random 1 to 10. And at the very beginning, we're just going to set Say set password to join adjective. So like this. So watch this. So the first one gets selected and then the next one, yeah. Okay, that looks nice. So I'm gonna do it like 20 repeats, like 20 repeats so it doesn't get annoying. Maybe 15. 15 repeats. So since a repeat takes one game frame and since Scratch runs at 30 frames per second, that should be about half a second. So everything here should be one second. So let's let's try that one more time. Yes, okay, that's good enough. Okay, so the adjective is smart. And let's do another one. Noun. Noun. Okay, okay, click OK. And then we're just going to set noun, set noun to uh, this, this thing here. And then we can duplicate this whole thing again. And uh, we can get rid of this noun right there, like that. Join adjective, join noun, like this. So now it should pick the adjective and that. Okay, great. And then we're going to go ahead and do the number. Number. And okay, so we're going to set number to uh, pick random 1 to 10, like this. And then we can just duplicate this whole thing one more time. All right, so pick random. Instead of pick random 1 to 10, we're just going to do number right there. And then that should be it. So I'm going to create a new list. Oh, wait, did I already create the list? No, I didn't. So we're going to create a new list called password. Password, click OK. 
Uh, and actually, let's go ahead and hide all of these variables and all these, all the, all these. So I'm actually going to go ahead and set the password right away. So I'm going to say, um, we're going to go ahead and add. Uh, how am I going to do this? Uh, we're going to add password to adjective, not adjective, sorry. Uh, I'm going to pass to password and then we're going to wait zero seconds and then we're going to delete one of password. That should work. Let's see. Okay, that did not work. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to, to show that animation. All I'm going to do is I'm going to show the password variable like this. So let me just put that there. And then at the very end, let's just go ahead and, well, let's first of all delete all of password. Delete all of password. And then we're just going to go to the very end of this big, big repeat thing. And then we're just going to add password to password to pass the pa password. Yes. Okay, so let's try that. All right, so that works. Let, watch this, watch this. First, first thing gets picked, second, okay, nice. So full paper to, oh, what happened? Um, I guess it, uh, okay. Um, yeah, so stinky be building eight exclamation points. Let's try that one more time. Stinky computer seven. Okay, let's, let's copy that to see how strong it is. Copy that, paste it into here. All right, so it's not that strong, but I bet if I, okay, so it's less strong than the other one. Uh, oh well, um, jogging paper dine, but it is funnier and more memorable. So if you if you want to do this, that's fine. I kind of wasted your time here, but uh, um, sorry about that. But if you want to, uh, if you want to make this, that's fine. Uh, the, uh, but yeah. So, um, yeah. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. I don't think you did because this was kind of a waste of time because this password generator v 2.0 was much better. But it, it's at least. A funnier password so yes so thank you for watching I hope you like this video all these projects will be shared on my scratch account so uh, and all will be linked in the description so be, be sure to check that out and uh, again I have a discord in, in case you missed it last time uh, I, I do have a discord and uh, finally it's linked right on the screen right now and it's also linked down in the description below so make sure to go check that out right now or not right now after the video if you want to uh, it's totally free. You can, yeah, you can, you, you just have to sign up. That's it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so if you want help with anything, if you want uh, support, if you want, if something's going wrong in your projects, or if you just want to chat with other people who watch my channel, uh, go ahead and join that uh, down below. Now, thank you for watching, and I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe, like, share this channel with others, and if you didn't, do whatever you want. Uh, thank you for watching. See you at houseofjulian.com, and, eh, and see you next time.